Hello everyone, I'm Sajid Karid from IAG Delft. Welcome to my short video on computing seasonal water consumption using data downloaded from Whopper website and QGA's open source software. The main objective of this lecture is to show you how to compute seasonal actual evapotranspiration and interception, actual transpiration, reference evapotranspiration and net primary production from decadal data downloaded from WAPA using QGIS open source software. Following which I will also show you how to clip the developed or computed seasonal data into the irrigated area in Sinawana. Study area Sinawane is located in Mozambique and the main crop is sugar cane where different irrigation systems exist like center pivots and furrow. The crop season is considered for 12 months from September to October next year. Wabba data as you may already know is data published by Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, on various parameters relevant to crop monitoring and agriculture water management. And WAPA represents data for water productivity assessment using open access remote sensing data. In this case, we will compute the seasonal water consumption and net primary production by summating all the data between the start of the season and end of the season. The data for exercise is available from this GitHub repository. And if you go to that repository and you download this entire repository, there will be a folder called data. And for this case study, the data from Whopper is already provided to you with this repository. So you can find these folders and the boundary for irrigated area shapefile can be found here. The analysis period in this case is going to be 2018-19 so that means we will analyze or we will compute seasonal maps using all the decadal maps 10 days maps available between october 2018 to september 2019 being a decadal maps that means in one year there will be 36 maps available and for example for 2018 to 2019 the maps start from 2018-28 decadal map to 2019-27th decadal map. So in total there will be 36 maps. So we'll be using these maps. For example, in this case, in this snapshot, uh, the maps representing AEDI, actual vapor transpiration is shown. Similarly, for all other variables, the same pattern are followed. So let's go directly to QGIS and see how we compute seasonal actual evapotranspiration and other variables. So you go to start and search for QGIS and just make sure that you open QGIS desktop. Uh, I recommend you to use any version greater than 3 with grass. So that will enable you to use all the grass modules available within the processing toolbox. So I select that option and QGIS will open now. Then I will open a empty project and understand the study area let us open the shapefile provided in the github repository 
so I will go to open data source manager vector I will select in the download repository I'll go to data boundary and there's a shape file folder so I will open that shape file you can see that this is the uh, boundary representing sugarcane crop in cinnamon to get an idea of how this place looks I'm also adding a background image and I will use a plugin called map services so quick map services you type quick and you will see this quick map services uh, plugin you can click on install plugin and if you go to web quick map services you can see that there are some uh, sources already available but to get more sources you can go to settings more services get contributed back okay save it and then you go back to web and then you can see that a lot of new sources are added so one of the sources google uh, and google satellite so i will add that to get an idea on how this farm or field areas looks like so you can see there are many central pivots in Sinawane uh, on cultivating sugarcane so this is our area of study now let's compute um, seasonal actual evapotranspiration and for that I will use a module called r.c so I will go to processing toolbox and I will search for that module and to list all the modules starting with r.series and I will select r.series module and in this module what we need is to give input raster layers and the aggregate operation in our case it is going to be sum so the input raster layers are those decadal maps 36 decadal maps for 2018-19 because we are doing analysis for the year 2018-19 so I am going to browse and I will say add files okay in my case ATI folder is open here I will go to 2018 28 to 2019 27 which represents October 2018 to September 2019 so I will open them and make sure that only those 36 maps are selected here i'll say okay and i will select aggregate function and i will select only sum as the aggregate function that means it will sum all those maps and in the aggregated here you have you can give name for output file so I'll create a new folder say outputs and I will call it seasonal PI 2018-90. I will save this and run the process. It should be quick. done now you can see that uh, the seasonal map is ready but it covers a rectangle area uh, covering the irrigated area boundary here so the next step what we want to do is to clip this uh, raster map which represents seasonal AETI to the irrigated area so to do that I'll go to processing toolbox again and search for clip and I will select 
and module called uh, clip raster by mask layer so here you can see that already seasonal ata is selected as input layer and as mask layer we will select the cinema and shape file you can leave the source and target CRS as such because it's uh, both are the same CRS which is 4326 latitude longitude and you can give in the clip you can give a output file name which I will select the same seasonal name and at the end I will add clip and it's done so i will switch off the other one and see the new layer so it's already clipped so to make things easier i will change the style of this shape file to a transparent fill and give a bright boundary so that we see the boundary well So if I put the boundary then now I can see the map very well. You can also change the, uh, you can remove the other seasonal map, the rectangular one. And then you can also change the color of the seasonal map, ETA. So you can change it to single band pseudo color and give a ramp which you like. So in this case I'm going to give something like this and this is your seasonal actually vapor transpiration for the year 2018-19 which is clipped to the boundary i will save the project to make sure that if the qgs crash then i can always come back so i will save to something like seasonal reference vapor transpiration or red from vapor is Course resolution maps of uh, 20 kilometer pixel size, which will not fit or which will not match the seasonal actual vapor transpiration map, which is around 100 meter resolution. So, to make further computations easy, what we will do is we will also resemble those uh, seasonal RED or reference vapor transpiration map to the same resolution as actual vapor transpiration map. So before I go to R root series to compute seasonal RET, I will check the uh, resolution of seasonal actual vapor transpiration. I will right click the seasonal AED to properties, go to information and I can see the pixel size here. So I will just copy up to 0 0.00099 say okay so i have the pixel resolution of uh, this fine resolution map of actually vapor transpiration now i will go to r dot series so with r dot series you can do both aggregation which is sum of all the maps representing the season and resampling in one single step so to do that the first step is to select all the input raster layers like previously did for AET so I will go to the RET folder I'll go to 2018-19 maps from 1828 to 1927 I will open them now I will select the aggregate function as sum now in the advanced parameter if it is uh, like this then you have to expand it in the advanced parameter there is something called grass ga7 region cell size so here you can give the copied uh, resolution of actual vapor transpiration so what will happen is when it come aggregate these 36 map the output map will be in this particular solution it's simply nearest nearby uh, resampling so you are not losing or gaining any uh, information you are just uh, restructuring the pixel size into a finer one 
and you can give the aggregated map name output name to seasonal RT and you can run it is done so this is your RAT uh, even though it looks like a coarser resolution but this is actually much smaller pixels as I say it's a uh, nearest neighbor resampling so you will not see a different pattern so the next step is to clip a raster by mask layer so I will select the seasonal RAT mask layer as Sinawane and I will give an output name here, save the file. Already clicked. And then I run the module, remove the bigger one. So here is the seasonal RD as well. Save the project. Now quickly let us do the same steps for um, transpiration. So I'll go to R.series, series, go to the folder for transpiration here, release the files to make it easy, 1828, sorry 1828. To 1927 I'll open them say okay aggregate function as sum and I will give a output name seasonal DA I will not put any cell size here because uh, transpiration is high resolution map of same resolution as of AET. So I'll keep that as default. Uh, series is done. The map is here. Next step is to do clipping. Also, this is my TA mask layer as one shape file and I will save it uh, and it will be run it so the TM map is also ready save the project then let's do it for the final variable which is NBP net primary productivity so I'll go to R root series I'll select the files, go to NPP folder, list the files to make selection easy. Then 1928 to 1927, representing one season, aggregate operation as a sum, and I will give a output name. Again, NPP is also in the same resolution of 100 meter, so I don't have to change the cell size, and I will run it. It's finished, so close it. Next step is to clip by mask layer. Select so seasonal NPP here, select so Sinavana here, and the clipped output file you can give an output name. So now we also have seasonal NPP ready. So we have seasonal NPP, seasonal transpiration, seasonal reference evapor transpiration, and seasonal actual evapor transpiration. In the next video, we will see how to compute performance indicators using these computer layers, seasonal layers. 
Thank you.